Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the characteristics of a PN diode. Specifically, we will numerically validate the non-linearity of this system. We will also compare its performance to, to that of an ideal diode. PN diode can be characterized by the following equation. I of t is equal to I s multiplied by e power V of t divided by a constant defined as VTH minus 1. The constant VTH is given by the product KT by Q. From the theoretical equation, we can clearly see that the relation between the input voltage and the output current is a non-linear relation. We want to verify this relation numerically. So, by using the values IS equal to 10 power minus 4 amperes and the constant VTH equal to 26 millivolts, we can plot the input and the output for this PN diode. This MATLAB code can be used to generate the input and the output for the given equation. By choosing a sinusoid for the input voltage V of t, we can obtain the output current I of t. We can clearly see that the current I of t is basically a couple of pulses. For a linear time invariant system, we know that when the input is a sinusoid, the output is also a sinusoid of same frequency but with possibly different amplitude. In this case we can clearly see that the we can clearly see that the output current does not have a sinusoidal structure and it and the width of the pulses also changes. Therefore clearly the system is a nonlinear system. Now for an ideal diode when the voltage is less than zero the current I of T is equal to zero and for I of t that is the current greater than 0 the voltage is equal to 0 that is it has the following structure that is at voltage equal to 0 we have this I of t and for voltage less than 0 the output current I of t is equal to 0 so this is the ideal diode Now by plotting the relation between V of t and I of t, we can clearly see that for a PN diode, we can clearly see that the PN diode, the, the characteristic curve between voltage and current uh, is, similar to the, is similar to that of an ideal diode, but the threshold voltage actually moves to the amplitude of the input voltage V of t. In this case, it is equal to 1. And we can clearly see that as the voltage V of t approaches 1, the current approaches a very large value because of the exponential structure of the relation between input voltage and the output current. To summarize, in this video, we looked at the numerical validation of the nonlinearity of a PN diode system and we also compared its voltage to current characteristic to that of an ideal diode. Thanks for watching.